Hey guys, what's up? A few days ago, we had a big update on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game, and this kind of ruined the game pretty much for me and others. There have been a lot of problems ever since this last update. It kind of broke a lot of the game, broke a lot of the balance in the game, which is a shame because this was like the one asymmetrical multiplayer game that I thought the balance was actually okay. I played Friday, I played Dead by Daylight, I played Party of the Grounds. In those games was just a mess and the killer of the of those games is pretty much like being bullied by the humans, the, the ones that are supposed to be the victims. They are pretty much like the whole game, I mean all these asymmetrical multiplayer games, they usually like completely backwards, you know? Like the, the, the one character that is supposed to be the killer usually is actually, the, you know, the one that the victims are supposed to be afraid end up being actually the one that gets screwed over in the match and just gets bullied because of the problems with it in the game's balance. And this one is actually doing okay, I think the game was fairly balanced apart from Isolated House, which that, yeah, that map is really was problematic, but they are they are said that they're gonna fix in this update, and they did. They put the valve tank upstairs, they changed the stuff in how, how fast the family can close the valve. The main problem with Slaughter House was the valve, but even then, like the map is still more more victim sided because of how big it is, it's harder for the family to keep track of the exits. It's still more victim sided, even with the valve nerf. But the problem is more related to the new content that is, has been added, which kind of broke the balance just completely. And I'm talking about mainly Danny. His ability is fucking stupid. It's just it's stupidly overpowered. I, and the new map is not like that good in my opinion. I mean, not balance wise. The new map is kind of like another slaughterhouse. It's very victim sided. But I think that the problem with Danny is just much bigger because it's something that can affect in any map. The new map is cool, like the design, whatever, yeah, but it's still like a little bit victim sided, just like Slaughterhouse, so it's easier. But then when you ha add someone like Danny, it just completely breaks the game. I have been using him and people say, oh, you bought this thing, you bought the, the pay to win character. You, you're you you're contributing to this problem. I mean, I just, I didn't even knew he was going to be this good. I didn't know. I just bought the characters when they came out because I was bored and like, I just wanted to do something new in the game. And in regards to Nancy, she's just like, okay. Like, I think that's still, like, Hitchhiker, Cook, and Letterface is still the, might be the best combo. I don't think that... I think that overall, Hitchhiker and Cook might be more useful than Nancy overall. So she's not even, like, at the top. And also, uh, rest in peace, Johnny. Johnny, they completely fucking up. I mean, she at least she's better than Johnny. But, yeah, Johnny's completely fucking over. But the main problem is Danny. I mean, problem within... The, and I'm gonna be showing here matches of me playing with Danny. And showing how broken his ability is. Not only is an ability that is very broken... But it's fairly easy to use. I have used it many times, and depending if you have been able to scan many of the objects that, uh, that you can do, like at the basement, at the location, if you can like charge it up that little bar, when you're gonna use it to temper the to whatever device you want, the equipment you're gonna do it, the object, it's just like pretty much like instantaneous. It's just so fast, and uh, my my Danny is not even max level. When he gets to level three, I can make it that he can do his ability instantly. He can scan the objects instantly, which is just charge his bar much faster. And when he's gonna do like the at the valve tank or the fuse, he can just also do that pretty much like instantly. If it's very charged up, it's pretty much like a instant win. It's a pay to win. It's a pay to win character. Name. And I, I already complained about the developers when they added the Nicotero letterface. It was completely cash and grab. They are very good developers. And now this is the same thing. They're just making a lot of money of selling a character. And it's funny because it is only the victim side that it gets the pay to win. Because Nancy did not get it. Despite people are complaining, oh Nancy's OP, she's not. Just stop being a, a crybaby victim main. Because those victim mains are such crybabies. Like, most of them are just so absolutely bad at the game. Because I play victim alone. And my teammates are a bunch of brain dead potatoes. That, that's, why, that's why they make the victims overpowered. That's why they give the victims all these free handouts. We already have like Connie with her instant unlocks because most victim mains are completely retarded at this game. They are just really bad. You guys are really, really bad. And that's that's but maybe that's the reason why they got Danny because it's like a potato assistance mechanic, which they just give a, like a very overpowered character because most of the player base is just really bad at the game. And me and my when me and my friends play victim, it's just so easy to win. And now with Danny, I'm playing alone. My, my, I don't even have like good teammates, and I'm still like beating pretty much like the three killers alone. And when the and there is not much of a counterplay because once you tamper a device like the valve, it's over. It's it's over. You just you just scan some objects now. You get you get the valve. You you scan the, the the valve tank. You put the valve. You you do the tampering and it's over. There is no counterplay for the victim because a device that is tampered, it cannot be turned off. And it's in in so th there is nothing that can prevent 
the people uh, the victims from escape sure they may maybe if you can kill them before but like the, ga the gate's gonna open the pressure gate is going to open there is nothing to family there's no counterplay when they and when they turn off like the generator or turn the, off the car battery it's also it's over that, that thing, those, those things are turned off and the family can never turn them on like imagine in family house in family house you turn off the generator it's over there is not even a gate the the the, uh, the exit is open like that they, they don't even have to open a gate you just turn off the daddy just has to turn off the generator then everybody just have to get out the house and just run and win that's it it's a free win then is a free win in most of the maps in that in family house people say that is uh family side is the one that is most family sided but with danny like that's not even much of an issue and, and his perks also very strong the one that makes you do the uh lock 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 picking when family members are up close that shit in, can go so fast especially in family house because it, it's a it's a small map and the family members are usually close to you you can just unlock stuff just so fast as danny not only can unlock stuff super fast and you can temper the the exits so like it just even it also diffuse you can instantly unlock, unlock the fuse the fuse can be open very fast and the family cannot turn it off so all these buffs these buffs that the developers made the family in regards to the fuse and the valve they made it that the, uh, the fuse and the valve can be turned off faster by the family but with danny it, it pretty much like negates that so like they, they did a buff to the family and then they added a pay to win character that negates the buff that pretty much like takes away like the any 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 of the counterplay for the family like it just leaves them without any counterplay so what a shitty thing that the developers did and this is making the game worse for everyone because nobody a lot of people don't want to play family right now because it's stressful especially because where you have danny tempera device it's over the game is there's no counter play so it's game is over it's gg and that's it it's over the game you know it's just really bad and then and then the family and the, the, the for the victims is being bad because the the kill times are so high right now it's taking me so long to play not only because and especially has Danny because everybody wants to play Danny we have already like got Danny they want to play with that Danny and I get it so like it's gonna be harder for you to find matches but it can take so long because m m most people are playing victim even more now people are playing victim even more because a lot of killer mains I mean the Johnny mains they are done with the game they're gonna I'm not gonna I just cannot play as Johnny Johnny shit now if I don't I don't want to play with other killers so I'm just gonna play victim so a lot of people that played as killer I've been already telling me I'm just gonna play victim now because has the killer is not more is not fun anymore. They took away Johnny, they nerfed the, the other killers, Johnny and Sister shit. So we only have like four four killers left. And now they added a pay twin character. It's just too hard to play as 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 the killers because there's not much counterplay. You need to code it, you need to have to good teammates. When you have bad teammates, you're screwed. You're screwed. That, that, that's pretty much it. And while you're and when you play as victim, even with bad teammates, you can still get lucky and win pretty much alone. Because even if you have bad teammates, sometimes the killers are busy chasing your brain dead teammates. They're just losing time and you're just in, a, in the right moment at the right time. And you just unlock a door, unlock the other and boom, you win. That's it. And sometimes with the tempering of, of Danny, you just like, you just turn off the generator, open open a gate and everybody can escape. Just one guy. One guy do, does just this little work that can take like 10 seconds and the match has been won. And that's it. So they completely broke the balance. Like the balance is just pocket and it made it mainly because of, of 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 the addition of Danny. Like he completely breaks the balance within the matches. Like when you have a Danny there, sure if he gets killed first, it won't be much of a problem. But if he doesn't, it's just unfair. The tempering ability, it, it's a big issue. And and especially at the max level, it can be done just so stupid fast. It's just so easy. You just once he does it, it's over. The match is over. With the other ones, at least the family could like try to close the valve, try to close the fuse, try to body block the gate, whatever. But with this one, it, it, it just it's it's over. Like it helped really. I, I, this is a big problem. Like I I, I knew that these game developers are greedy. Sure, I saw that when they added the Nicotero letter face. But to this point, like they make like a character that is just so OP. It's pretty much like a Connie here. He can unlock stuff as good as Connie, but he has more HP. So he's like a better Connie. Even with his stats, even without his tempering ability, but when you consider the tempering ability and what it causes into the matches, it's just stupid. It, it's just stupid. And this is gonna make a lot of killer mains stop playing the game because they're like, dude, I don't wanna I don't want to deal with this shit. It's just not fun, it's just not fair, and I get it because I saw this shit happen in other asymmetric multiplayer games. I saw this happening that by daylight, a lot of killers stop playing killers just went to play survivor because of the bullying. Just to, just let's just bully the killer with flashlights or in predator hunting grounds. Where the fire thing is just so overpowered that they just hunt down the predator and a lot of predator players stop playing the game. 
you know, or a lot of player, Predator players just want to play fighting and nobody wants to play as the Predator if the fighting is good because it's just completely destroyed by the fighting. The fighting just chases and hunts the Predator down. And it's just because of the broken balance because they usually make the side, the victim side, super strong to make up for your bad teammates because in public kill they, they, make, they always make the balance like uh, by balancing the game around the public solo queuing. So yeah, again, against the, uh, they balance the game around people that play alone. And when you play alone, your your teammates are brain dead, a lot of times. So that's kind of how they kind of balance the game. They always make oh you're gonna have bad teammates, so we have to make the victims stronger and have a lot of good abilities because their teammates are not gonna be very coordinated. They won't be able to talk to each other. But then when you have like people that play together and coordinate well, like I want to play with my friends, it's just way too easy. If if we try, we're just gonna have like a 90% win rate, especially now with Danny against like any killers and it just it's, and a lot of times it gets boring not only like it takes longer to find matches as victims now and you can end the matches super fast it takes like five minutes to get a lobby and then you finish a match in one minute by using defuse exit happened many times so it is a problem i think that if they don't do something about this this game uh the game population the people that play this game it's just gonna drop a lot it's already dropping has already been dropping a lot and that is normal for any game but it's gonna drop even more because it's it just like it, when you have a game that it just it stops being fun because of a problem within the balance. People are like I'm not having fun because it's just unfair. It's just not. It's just not right what is they are doing right here. Like when the, the game developers make a bunch of like shitty, greedy decisions, it is normal for the player base to have a good response to that. And usually they're gonna like I'm just gonna stop playing this game. And they should do something about this. Like the game developers, they have to do something about this because it is bad. Like it's just uh, already like taking me. Making me play the game less now because playing as the killer is most frustrating if they have a Danny because they can just temper the exit and they make the valve. I cannot close that shit and this game is over. And when I play as victim, it just takes too long. I don't have patience. It's just like I, I, I just prefer to go play a game that doesn't make me take so much time to find a match, you know? It's just overall better. So this is a big problem within the game balance. They completely screw over. I hope that they do something about this, about this in the next update. And if they don't, this is going to really damage the game over time.